Hi everyone, I'm Madeline from Florida Atlantic University's Harbor Branch Oceanographic Institute. Today, I'm at the Ocean Discovery Visitor Center so I can tell you about one of our projects, the Integrated Multitrophic Aquaculture System. That project's name is a mouthful, but I'll break down what it means for you. Integrated means that we have a bunch of different parts all working together within one system. Multitrophic means that we have plants and animals from all different levels of the food chain within that system. And aquaculture is a term that refers to the farming of aquatic plants and animals for food or restoration purposes. Here at the Ocean Discovery Visitor Center, we have a miniaturized version of this system so that we can show you all of the different parts. It starts in this big tank where we can grow up a any different fish species. Right now in here, we've got red drum. These have been used in stock enhancement and in feed studies previously. I'm gonna give them a quick bite to eat. Once they've eaten up all of that delicious food, then they will produce their waste. And their waste is then broken down by bacteria, which we keep in that canister right behind their tank. In a lot of aquaculture systems, this is where the process ends. But in our system, we keep it going. The bacteria break down their waste into nutrients that we can use just like fertilizers to feed all of the plants over here in these troughs. So in this top trough, we've got a couple of different marsh species that are found locally in the Indian River Lagoon. They can shoot their root systems down into the water so they can pull all the nutrients out to help them grow. We have right here sea asparagus and sea purslane. These are both edible and can be used in artisanal cuisine. They're both relatively new to our system. So one of our researchers is working on establishing what nutrients are within them so that we can create food labels and expand their market. They are pretty tasty. They taste sort of like a salty pepper or even a salty lettuce. Over on this other end of the trough, we have some red mangrove trees. We're growing these up so that we can donate them to Florida Fish and Wildlife for restoration projects. They will transplant these trees along the Indian River Lagoon in areas that have been impacted by construction and development. Once these plants have taken up all the nutrients they can from the water, the water comes down into this second trough where we have a couple of different types of macroalgae. Macroalgae have a lot of different great commercial and food uses. Something that you might not have known is that there's a byproduct from these macroalgae that is used to stabilize ice cream so that it doesn't melt during transportation. In our system, we have two different types of algae. We have a red algae, which is called Gracilaria. And we also have a green algae which is called ulva. You might recognize this one. Maybe you've even eaten it in a seaweed salad. Not only are these healthy for people to eat, but they're also a great snack for animals. Our researchers are experimenting with putting different types of invertebrates into this system. A couple of examples of the invertebrates they're working with are sea cucumbers, sea urchins, and fighting conch. So this guy might be a little hard to see at first. There's actually a snail living inside of this shell. These invertebrates are considered a delicacy in a lot of different cuisines. And in our system, they're really important because they eat the excess algae and other waste products. Once the water gets down to the end of the trough, it goes all the way back to the beginning, and the cycle starts all over again. One of the best parts about this system is that since everything feeds the next product in line and it's self-cleaning, it's really environmentally friendly and sustainable. 
Also, it allows for farmers to grow up more than one product at a time, which is very important in an ever-expanding seafood market. Harbor Branch is proud to be a part of this new wave of aquaculture. We hope you enjoyed this behind-the-scenes look at our integrated, multi-trophic aquaculture system. To learn about our research and outreach programs, please visit our website. There, you can also access our virtual resources and find out more about our Ocean Discovery Visitors Center.